So I'm in the prison. There were people that was always fighting, stabbing people. I was a black man with tattoos. I was what they wanted to be, which was American gangster, but I wasn't a gangster. But you better believe I played the role. After a year, I finally get the phone call. So you didn't get to make your first phone call for an entire year? That's real up. And that's when I talk to my mom. And I apologize and I say I'm sorry. They sentenced me to 12 years. Damn, spending more than a decade in a French prison for transporting drugs. That's crazy. My emotions were all over the place because I'm a real mama bear. I was very distraught. The 12 years was not going to fly with Ms. Jones. I would speak to the lady at the consulate and she would ask me about different people who could help uh, because he needed a certain amount of money for his bail. So Mama Bear got busy trying to figure a way. At that time, I didn't know but a few of his friends and D-Ray really stepped up to the plate. We collectively, the people that cared about stuff had to do something to get him out, but it was almost impossible. I felt like it was a sit and wait game regardless because there was a lot of steps. And they were like steps on the escalator, a never ending circle. Karma was gonna make me pay for everything I thought I got away with. And that's when I knew Nobody gonna come save me, so I gotta learn how to save myself. I gotta learn how to love myself. And that's when I start reading books that just expand my mind. I'm learning Braille. I'm learning, I enrolled in a French class. I got back into art, and I started memorizing my dreams and writing them down and writing songs from birds that were singing outside. And then my brain just started to calm down and I started thinking about positivity. So I was outside running on the promenade. One of the security guards said, Jones, they want to see you at the warden's office. So I walk in and I see these like weird looking faces and I don't know why. And they handed me this paper And I look down and I'm reading the paper. I just dropped on my knees 